Provided by Keys on the track, man. There's a link in the description below that's gonna take you to downloadpass.com. From there, you can find this particular beat off of this particular beat tape and the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler at them to get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply this is to that Trade of Truth featuring the locks, Reckless. And you know what? This track here is solid, man. Really, you can't point at it and find any weakness because one, it's a good beat. Two, everybody on there is doing pretty well. I mean, honestly, if you go and go lyrically, really, you only looking at Jada Kiss. But for the most part, you can't take anything away from anybody else because they hold their own and they make this track all around solid. Now, I definitely would have liked a hook, but that's not even so important on this track. Honestly, it's just well-rounded all the way around, man, and it's definitely a track that I can see as like an album filler, not like a single or anything like that, but a damn good album filler on a damn good album. So I definitely recommend people to go on out there and peek that one on out. It's not that bad. But anyway, on to Ask, Download Pass. And James says that this track is a perfect example of two MCs hopping on a modern beat and not dumbing down anything. And what he's talking about is that Lupe Fiasco and Ab Soul song. And you know that's real shit, but let's keep it 100. Most of these rappers and shit out here, they don't dumb down this shit. They're just fucking dumb. Only like top-notch lyricists really dumb down the lyrics in order for them to be viable within the commercial industry because that's what record labels honestly demand. But always keep in mind that top-notch lyricism, that's the minority in this game, dude. And King Rod says that he completely disagrees that Rick Ross has not evolved as a lyricist from Port of Miami to Mastermind. Now, I'm not going to say that there aren't subtle differences from his rhymes from beginning to now. I mean, he doesn't say that uh shit anymore. He also has a bit more punchlines from time to time. But if you break down his rhyme scheme on how exactly he designed his rhymes, how exactly he writes his bars out, it's the same shit. He's rapping about the same things. Pretty much a lot of his bars have always just been kind of random. Not like Lil Wayne random, but still random nonetheless. Therefore, this is where me and all of the Rick Ross fans out there who feel as though he progressed, this is where we're never going to agree. But you know it is what it is, and I respect y'all's opinion on it anyway. 